pumpkin, yellow onion, red onion, crispin, carrot, tomato, pimento. I also use ginger and garlic. After peeling and cleaning all our vegetables, we're going to place it into our food processor and give it a good mince. We're going to cut our pumpkin into cubes, bite-sized pieces, and we're infusing our oil with our garlic. Once our oil is ready, we're going to place all our vegetables into that oil except the pumpkin. Once our vegetable has become translucent, we're going to add in our pumpkin. We're going to let that sweat for about three minutes on low fire. Now this is where the dumping process will begin. We are using any stock or any previously cooked vegetables that you may have in the refrigerator at least two days old, no more than that. So I have some vegetable stock that I have here and I am going to use it into this recipe. I placed it into my pot with the vegetables we're going to let that simmer while it is simmering we're going to add in some vegetables that i cooked um, with a leftover fish recipe that i uploaded on my channel today so this is all the vegetables that was remain from that dish so i'm going to add that also into this recipe there is a lot of flavor in this vegetables plus that vegetable stock that we had previously put into this recipe so therefore we don't really need much salt in this we don't really need much of any added seasoning really because we already have the stock plus this vegetable from the fish recipe that I previously uploaded which is called leftovers all right you can go and check it out so once all this is added to this pot we're going to leave it to come to a boil and low fire and we'll let it come to a boil once it has come to a boil like you're seeing on your screen now I am adding one and a half cup of browned rice. Once the rice is added, we're going to give it a good stir. Taste to see if you need to add any extra salt because you want to taste. Because remember, we have previously seasoned stock and veggies that was cooked. So we want to make sure that it's not over salted. So I'm adding here some salt and some sugar all right don't add no big amount pinch at a time i got some fig leaf from my tree and and i'm reminding you low heat we're gonna cut put a small cover inside there to keep it and on top of that i placed my microwave plate on top of it and in about 20 minutes on low heat my rice was cooked and I had this with some lamb. Remember the rice is dairy free. And I also bake some lamb to go along with it. It is also optional. All right. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. And again to all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome and thanks for the support. Do have a blessed day.